Armed Forces Day gives us, the citizens of Wandsworth, an opportunity to reflect on the debt of honour we owe to those from the borough who both in history and today gave and continue to give so much in the service of our country. In both world wars, many brave men and women from Wandsworth fought for their country. In particular, remember Corporal Tiny Foster, a Wandsworth dustman who wore the Victoria Cross in 1917. Today, a growing number of service personnel live in the borough and as a council we are proud of the assistance we give them in housing, education and the seeking of employment when they leave the forces. We are immensely proud of the reserve units based in the borough, including the Royal Marine Reserves London, based in Southfields, with whom we have developed a very close relationship. Indeed, they rowed me up the Thames in a competition last year, which we won thanks to their sterling efforts. Also, C Company, the 5th Battalion of the Royal Fusiliers, is based in Fallon, and the headquarters of the London Regiment is based in Battersea. All are fighting units with strong traditions, but more recently they have excelled themselves in providing mobilised support to the NHS in its ongoing fight against COVID-19. Equally, we are proud of our connections with the 10 Army Air and Sea Cadet units in the borough. Tradition the Mayor visits each of these units every year, and indeed I have. Last year we celebrated Armed Forces Day with an input from the Royal Marine Reserves and Sea Cadets in Battersea Park. Unfortunately, this year we've had to really scale back our efforts. However, we will be flying the Armed Forces Day flag over the Town Hall. It does not mean that we hold the Armed Forces in any less esteem. Indeed, in June we held a small VE Day ceremony at the Town Hall and hope to recognise VJ Day in a few weeks' time. As we look forward to less stressful times, let us recognise the debt of honour we are on our armed forces, past and present, at an enhanced ceremony next year.